Welcome everybody, you're watching North Shore Football Club. I have the privilege to be here with Justin McHugh and Coach Ed. Welcome, Thanks. thank you both of you for taking time out to speak with me today. Thank you. I wanna start off by asking both of you, how did you get started with North Shore Football Club? Well, I think I'll go first, let you finish up at the end. Uh, I started coaching with North Shore back in 1990 at Sunnybrook Park when it was the Sunnybrook Bears. Uh, I stayed three years there until 1993 and I went up to the North Shore Lions uh, where I was with the Lions for I think seven or eight years. Uh, I finished as head coach of the Lions for the last three years while I was there uh, before taking a break from football. And I'm not too sure when I got back involved, probably when Coach Justin asked me to come back uh, and coach at the Mustangs, I think. So I don't remember how many years, <laughs> it's been a long time, but I don't remember how many years I was at the Mustangs. And then I went back to Sunnybrook for a couple of years. But after all that, I'm uh, pleased to say I came out of retirement to coach my son, who uh, is in his first year Adams, and they needed help at the Adam team. so. Here I am coaching it back at the Adams at uh, North Shore Rough Riders. Very happy that we're doing it too. That's amazing. Thanks. Right. How about Beautiful. you? So I started in the North Shore Football League uh, playing out of Westminster Park, actually, in Dollard. Uh, they had a football program back when I started playing football. So I went from Westminster uh, to West Park. My second year Pee Wee, I played at Sunnybrook. Uh, followed by two years with the Lions, two years with the Mustangs, and then two and a half years with the Broncos. We had a junior program back in the day. Uh, it was in the Broncos where I, early in the season, I ended up, uh, because of knee injuries, I stopped playing, and I started coaching the Lions, where I coached the Lions for a couple of years, and then that progressed to coaching the Mustangs in 93, 94, uh, so on and so forth. So it's been a long, long journey, but uh, a lot of fun, and you know, meeting, being able to coach uh, in the Mustangs in the late 90s and early 2000s with uh, some of my close friends. That's what North Shore is all about, you know, giving back. And uh, we were joking the other day, watching the Lions championship game and the Mustangs championship game that, you know, back in the day when we were 20 years old, 21, 22, 23 years old, we were coaching all these kids and we didn't have kids playing. We were just coaching for the love of the game because we love North Shore and we loved uh, we loved the game of football. We love giving back. So, and same thing for uh, as Coach Ed said, uh, I, I coached four years at Abbott, and then that was a long time ago that I stopped coaching about ten years ago. And then my son uh, privileged to coach my son this year with the Pee Wee team here at Alexander Park. North Shore Rough Riders, excuse me. <laughs> I know we're still getting used to yeah. it. <laughs> so, what is it? when your sons came to you and said hey listen i want to play football like for sure they grew up in a football family but what was that feeling the honest truth is that i didn't want my son playing football oh wow uh when he was a young age i because i know of football and i know of uh, a lot of situations i didn't want him involved in football but for whatever reason he just kept asking me dad can i play football and we brought him out here the Tykes last year and he fell in love with it and uh, the rest is history so I'm back. <laughs> How about yourself? A similar story so I coached Ryan and Tykes with a couple of the players that are still on our peewee team here graduating players uh, AJ Bojanic and Luca. Uh, I coached them in Tykes it was a long time ago. Uh, Ryan played football on and off uh, since then I don't think he played Adam, played two years Mosquito, took his first year of Pee Wee off. And then when he wanted to come back uh, to play this season in Pee Wee, it was kind of a family discussion at the table. They were looking for coaches, same thing like Coach Ed. They were looking for coaches for the Pee Wee team. And uh, I said, should I coach? And my son and my daughter and my wife all yelled at me saying, yes, you should. You're in McHugh, you got a coach. So here I am. And now you're back. Yeah. Now I'm back. And when you think back to your coaching career, your playing career, what's the best moment that either of you have ever had with North Shore? Well, I'll say this, and I was mentioning it to some of the coaches at the, at the Lions championship game. 
The best part about football for me is that I was able to make lifelong friends. Guys like him, guys like other guys that I've coached with and played with. These are the same guys who were here when, you know, who stood beside me at my wedding. They're the same guys who helped bury my mom. They, this is what I want for my kid. And when I see my son and his son hanging out with their buddies, I hopefully they'll get the same relationships out of it as I did. So that, that's all I really want out of it. How about yourself? Well, I echo those statements. I mean, uh, ditto. You know, having uh, Coach Ed at my wedding and, and my dad's funeral, my brother's funeral. It's uh, you know, it's a it's a brother it's a brotherhood that is developed through through a team environment, and that's what I love about it. And just an example tonight, handing in the equipment and seeing my son walk off, and two of his teammates come up to him and hug him, and he's hugging his teammates just an hour ago. Uh, and I, I know they're going to be lifelong friends and maybe teammates, maybe not, maybe coaches together, maybe not, but they're going to be, they're going to have this bond that they've uh, developed together as of right now. So that, that's what the game's all about. Amazing. Love and what advice can you give to anybody who's interested in joining North Shore football? Well, just come out, come out and play. You'll learn everybody who's playing started off like day one. So you'll learn even for fathers or moms who want to help with the organization and coaching and volunteering. We were all day one coaches too at one point. So just, just come out. We're, we're here with open arms and we'll help you. I, I can speak for myself, but this has been an amazing experience for me to come back to coach here at North Shore. And uh, I never thought it'd be this invested and you saw us at the championship games. We were there. We loved it. We were going crazy. And, you know, and we'll look forward to next year. Same? Same. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's uh, coming back. I never thought I'd be back coaching. Uh, I've never coached Pee Wee before, but uh, as soon as you walk on a field, those, those, those feelings come back and... Uh, for anybody that wants to play football, whether it's our organization or any other organization, I ultimately, I really believe football is the best team sport there is to build character for your child, to build uh, uh, confidence, confidence for your child. Um, the team atmosphere is gonna is gonna be with you for the rest of your life whether you're on the field or you're in the workforce or you're wh whatever you're doing in life uh, football builds that those characteristics in young individuals and also financially it's the best bang for your buck so for those parents that are worried about the getting your kids into sports and uh, the financial aspect rightfully so uh, everybody's pension pennies and understand it but uh, come play football for sure love it Thank you both very much. Thank you. Oh, our Thank pleasure. you Thank for you. all you do. Yeah. <laughs>